I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank my subscriber for this question. He wants to understand how to apply Euclid's division lemma to find highest common factor HCF or greatest common factor GCF. I'll take up three examples in this video and then follow it up with another example where we consider three numbers, right? So the question here is find highest common factor of 18 and 30. So the process is that you have to divide the bigger number by the smaller number. In our case, 30 is the bigger number, so that comes dividend. Divisor is 18, right? So we'll divide 30 by 18. So 18 goes one time, we get 18. And when you take away 18 from 30, what do you get? Borrow, so you get two and two take away one is one. We did not get zero as the remainder. So 18 is not a factor of 30. Do you understand? So in Euclid's method, you say, well, every number A could be written as B times quotient plus the remainder. If remainder is zero, then only, you know, B becomes the factor of a right now in this case 18 is not a factor of 30 so what we do we divide the divisor by so now what we do is that we divide the divisor which is 18 by the remainder which is 12 right so we'll do second division here we'll divide 18 by 12 Now, 12 goes one time, which is 12. We get a remainder of 6. Now, 12 is also not a factor of 18 since we got a remainder. So, we repeat this process of division till the remainder is 0. That is, that is all. So, we again divide. This time, the divisor is 6, which was the remainder. And earlier divisor, 18, becomes the dividend, right? So, we put this 12 here. And 6 times 2 is 12. The remainder is 0. That means 6 is factor of both 18 and 30. So whenever you get 0, then the divisor becomes the highest common factor. So we can say highest common factor of 18 and 30 is 6. Do you see that? So that is how, using this method, we can quickly find the highest common factor. This method is very effective when you're working with uh, big numbers, right? Let's take a few more examples. Uh, here, we have taken 24 and 30. So decide which should be the divisor, which should be the dividend. Well, clearly, you cannot divide 24 by 30, you have to divide 30 by 24, right? So write 30 here in the dividend and divisor is 24. It can go one time and the remainder is 6. Once you get the remainder, then divide by the remainder previous divisor. Do you see that? The previous divisor was 24, right? Previous divisor was 24. And 6 times 4 is 24 you get 0 as a remainder. Since you get 0 as a remainder, 6 becomes the highest common factor. So you can write highest common factor of 24 and 30 is 6. You get an idea, right? So that is how you need to do it, right? So another practice question for you. So this time we have numbers 60 and 30. So let's do it. So we have 60 and 30 will divide 60 by 32 okay 32 so it goes two times is 64 so you have to divide only once so once you get 32 what do you get now when you take away 8 10 take away 2 is 8 5 take away 3 is 2 so get 28 now you have to divide the divisor, which is 32. I'm sorry for this. 
divisor which is 32 by 28 right so write 32 here it goes one time 28 the remainder now is 4 right so we get remainder as 4 divide 28 by 4 correct so that's kind of repeated division in which we divide the divisor the previous divisor by the remainder right 7 times 4 is 28 and what you get now is a remainder of 0 ultimately it was 4 the divisor which gave us 0 as the remainder and therefore the HCF or sometimes say greatest common factor of 60 and 32 is 4 correct so that is how it has to be done I hope the process is straightforward and clear now this is the last example for you to practice okay so you can pause the video try to apply the method and then check if you get the same solution so we divide this time 90 by 72 so we begin by dividing smaller number into the bigger number so the divisor is 72 right so when you divide 72 times 1 is 72 when you take away what do you get you get 10 take away 2 is 8 and you get 18 here now 18 which is a remainder will divide into 72 so this process is repeated right 72 so 18 times how much can go into 72 so you can say 18 times if you try 5 so 8 times 4 is 5 is 40 you get 90 so 5 will not go 4 we can try 4 times 8 is 32 right 4 times 8 is 32 and 3 gives you 72 right so 0 remainder so as soon as you get zero remainder we look at the divisor which gave us zero as the remainder that divisor is your highest common factor and therefore the highest common factor of 90 and 72 let me write 72 and 90 is 18 correct so that is how you could do it Traditionally, you were doing with the help of factoring, but this division process could give you the result in just a couple of steps. Now, I'll take a few more examples where we will work with three numbers and try to find the greatest common or highest common factor using this Euclid's division lemma. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.